Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome back to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And what are we doing today, Pepper? We are giving our first impressions. On this dude. On this. Mr. Furnace himself. Mr. Furnace Beard. <laughs> <laughs> or just the game Furnace, which was, as Jesse would probably guess, a name of a game that really had me, had me interested just from hearing the name. Mm -hmm. But then uh, that cover also gave me a very, um, what did I say yesterday? Um, industrial. Industrial feel, which is is a setting that I, I tend to like in games. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that got me even more interested. Um, would you? I wonder if I would have been. I don't know if I would have been. But would you have been more interested or less interested in this game if it was called Mr. Furnace? Mr. Furnace. I think, I, I think I'd be more interested, yes. <laughs> and it was just the same game. It was just called Mr. Furnace. Mr. Furnace. Oh. I think that was the original working uh, that title. That was the working title, the name of the game. <laughs> but no. This, this was one that has been a bit of a slow burn of us, um, I think, wanting to get it. it. I think it's always been kind of on my radar, but... Um, at the same time, I wasn't 100% sure. I wasn't sure if it was going to be, like, too thinky. Because, I don't know, something about it made, made me, gave me a feel of mm, yeah. possibly a heavy, heavy Euro game type thing um, when I first saw it. And then, I don't know if it kind of seemed like it wasn't really talked about mm, as much. Yeah. I mean, I still heard people talk about it occasionally, and then it kind of came back up with people talking about it and really, really liking it. And when yeah. Mike Delisio was surprised by it for the second year in a row. <laughs> That's what really sold it. <laughs> once, once someone's surprised by it multiple times, uh, that, that really is a game changer. But yeah, um, I, I, it was one that I think I almost had to force you to talk you into getting because I, I don't think that this I mean, probably just... sold you on the game. You personally, no. Whereas, I mean, there's assumptions you can make from the cover of the game, mm -hmm. um, at least for me. But I would say don't make those assumptions because once I actually looked at it and kind of a little bit how it played, I still didn't know much going into it. But mm -hmm. I kind of looked into it a little bit, and I heard it was actually a very quick and um, simple game to play. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, oh, really? That's not at all what I would think. Yeah, I think, yeah, too, I hadn't, cause I didn't think it was, like, one that you were that interested in, and I, so I don't think I looked at it as much as I should have, because, um, yeah, I think if I had looked at it, I think I would have told you that you'd be a little more yeah. interested. Yeah. So I was just worried that if going I did, I was like, I, I don't know that anyone will want to play going it. Going into it, I'm like, ah, oh, Brass Birmingham, yeah. too. And you and Miguel don't like playing that with me, so I'm like, I shouldn't really look Brass at it. Brass Birmingham, exam. Mr. Furnace. <laughs> So, yeah, I, but, yeah, I would say that I still didn't, I, I didn't know every, or all that much about this game before we played it, but I was still extremely, extremely excited about um, mm, yeah. trying it, because it was definitely at the, towards the top of my list of games I'd like to try, at least. Um, but, yeah. yeah, so then... Then we played it. And? And... I... Well, you don't have to give the rating yet, but um, you can I, say a little I bit was, of how I it was, was surprised. I was surprised at how quick and easy it was. It was very simple. Um, your options are not overwhelming in the no. game. There's, like, you kind of deal out six cards. I don't know if it does. It might change for player count because we played two yeah, players. Yeah, I think it does. We had kind of a, you had to put a dummy player in there, but mm -hmm. the dummy player is no problem, so don't worry about that if you're worried. Right. Yeah. Two player I, I know player. that sometimes worries me and um sometimes it almost like mm, feels yeah. like it's a lesser version of the game and mm. I, I would think that it probably plays better with mm, three players yeah, instead yeah. of that so but, but it's where, not yeah yeah i would say it's i guess i don't know how many people have played glenmore 2 chronicles mm. but i think in the two player you can have kind of just roll a die and it takes the tile it's pretty much i would compare it to that mm -hmm. so very yeah. easy to implement mm -hmm. um but yeah, it's also, we're just, these last few first impressions, we've just compared these games to so many other games, and <laughs> we've already compared this to Brass Birmingham, I would compare it to... <laughs> Which I wouldn't, if you, no. <laughs> it's not Brass no. <laughs> hopefully they didn't turn off when they heard Brass Birmingham. 
Because <laughs> it is not anything like that. No, it is not. Um, but I'd actually compare this to It's a Wonderful World. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a similar engine building. It says engine building right there. Mm -hmm. um, An engine building game. By Ivan Lashin. Lashin. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're just getting different cards with kind of, I guess, I don't know. It's an interesting mechanism for the bidding mm -hmm. um, in that you there's like six cards in a two-player game and mm -hmm. you have kind of a one through four chip and you can put it on any of the cards except you can only have one of yours on a card mm -hmm. and it cannot be matching a previously played number mm -hmm. um, on that card. Mm -hmm. And whoever lays the highest number gets the card mm -hmm. and anyone else on there gets a bonus kind of for not getting it a little mm -hmm. bit there. Um, which is usually resources printed on the top, and that's mm -hmm. multiplied by the number that they have on there. Right. So if someone played a four, and you played a three, they would get the card, but you would get three times the bonus printed mm -hmm. on the top, which I thought was just a really cool way to do it, to even like kind of put production phase into the bidding for the cards. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really cool, yeah. um, I thought. Yeah, I, I totally agree on that because, yeah, I found that really interesting and it really did seem to work. There were there were some times where it was like a an action to turn something mm, yeah. into another resource, yeah. which those ones were sometimes, I think like those right were kind of a little start. hit and miss. Yeah, sometimes they were like at the early on in the line because you activate them in order mm -hmm. um, and sometimes maybe you just wouldn't have those resources to be able to do that. So, right. so there's that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, you're still able to do it if you have the resources and it, it, it sometimes can be a perfect thing for you too I mean it could be something that you're able to take advantage of yeah um, being able to turn something into something else that maybe you need more yeah. and you're like wow I have a lot of this and I still have some left over in my supply yeah. so um, I might as well you know turn it into the um, what was it barrels or whatever yeah. they are yeah um, so yeah I found that very interesting and Made for extra decisions yeah. because you don't also don't have to like bid higher than your mm, opponent. No, so you yeah. can you know once the four is laid, you can lay your three. Yeah. Even though you like, know you can't, you won't win it. Um, yeah. But you really want maybe the resources on the top. Yeah. Or if it were resources, and yeah, I found that really interesting because at first I was like, for some reason in my head I was thinking that you had to bid higher than your mm, opponent. I'm yeah. like, I don't know how this is gonna end up working, <laughs> but. But no, I, I that it's very interesting. I really like how that how that works and how that yeah it almost feels like yeah. production uh, while you're buying those cards at the same time and they, you I don't know it seems like that wouldn't work but it really works. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's kind of the core of the game and I, I really really love that um, bidding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but yeah, then once you get the cards into your tableau, you get to activate them in any order to kind of produce resources, trade resources for others, trade things for points, and mm -hmm. um, pretty much that's how you are going to determine Win the, the winner um, with the points. And mm -hmm. I thought I found that um, pretty straightforward as well. It, mm -hmm. it, it could overwhelm some people if you get more and more cards, um, mm -hmm. but usually you can have a few point cards that you know that you want to activate, and that can mm -hmm. kind of straighten it out the order in which you want to um, use right. them. Right. Yeah, I would agree. And I felt like at the beginning, and I don't know if I'll feel this in future plays, we've only played this once, um, but in the beginning I felt kind of like I have no idea which of these cards I should be trying mm, to get yeah. and what I shouldn't. Um, but after that first round, um, the next three rounds, I felt like I always knew of one card that I wanted to mm, win yeah. the bid on. And then you can just, you can for sure that and play your four on it if you right. want to. Well, assuming your opponent doesn't play yeah, it first, yeah. but um, yeah, you can, if you have the chance, you play your four on there and yeah. you have it. But then know. someone can go and play their three and be like, ooh hoo, th three, three times production. Right, right. right. So, so yeah, it I've, does make interesting, interesting choices because like I could wait. You know, if you didn't really want, yeah. you know, you didn't know for sure. Yeah. That way your opponent doesn't know that they can just put their three there. Yeah. Um, in case they really needed whatever yeah. um, may be the production. Um, yeah, I, I felt that maybe that would kind of fall into a meta type thing where you kind of do the same thing in the same order, but I didn't see that 
happening, really. Sometimes you did play your four first because you needed to. Sometimes you just wanted to play a one mm -hmm. because you really wanted the production on something. Mm -hmm. It it never really fell into one order there. Right, because, yeah, it, yeah, that's what made it so interesting because, yeah, sometimes you really wanted the resources, but then at the same time you're like, well, if my opponent lays this chip, like a two... Then I won't be able to lay the two on there anymore, so then I'd have to yeah. lay the one. Yep. And if I already used my one, then all of a sudden I'm beating them with my three. Mm -hmm. So then I'm winning the card, and I don't want to win the card. I want the production. Uh, so, yeah, it adds. It's a lot more interesting than maybe you'd think at first glance. It yes. really works. I, I was really surprised at how well that uh, bidding worked and how much yeah, it could change kind of from round to round, yeah. um, depending on what people wanted. Yeah, yeah. So first impression rating. What do you give it? I think I'm giving this one an eight point five to nine, and it'll be interesting to see where it falls because, yeah, like you said, I I would compare it to It's a Wonderful World, and I think that that one is almost one of the most streamlined stream best streamlined games we have. So that's the only. That's the only thing that's maybe holding it back is I'm like, I know I'm going to compare these two, and I really, really love that game, and it just feels so smooth, and there's just, this one's very smooth too, but there's just a couple more things in this one, I think, that just kind of sometimes interrupt it just a little bit. Mm, I, I wouldn't maybe, say that it's like, I, don't, I wouldn't say like, oh, all of a sudden you're going off the tracks and you feel like, oh, wait, uh, this is all messed up type thing. It's still very, very smooth, yes. but I, I don't. I don't know. I yeah. feel like It's a Wonderful yeah. World is just a level higher in smoothness. I haven't played It's a Wonderful World in a while, um, mm -hmm. but I do feel like maybe um, having a larger hand of cards in It's a Wonderful World may be a little overwhelming. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, you can always choose to strap the cards, but mm -hmm. um, I feel like sometimes it can be hard with mm -hmm. all the options. So in, in some ways, I would say maybe this one could even be a little easier to play oh. than that um but i mean maybe not i don't know i think i, 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 think, I, think, they're, I think they're both very i think too it depends um uh, if you like if you really love card drafting i would say that that one yeah. is the one that i would get if you want something with bidding or you really like bidding or maybe you don't have many games with bidding and you're looking to maybe try one i think this is a great one for that um, yeah. So I, I think I would maybe base it off the those yeah. two main mechanisms yeah. as to how you're getting the cards. Yeah. Um, but I, I think you could own both too. Yeah. I, yeah. It's not like I think like oh we have that so we don't need this because um, yeah. they both they do feel quite different. Yeah. And I also found it interesting because you know sometimes in games it seems like well maybe I don't want to produce coin or I think it's coins but it's really points in this mm. game. Yeah. I don't really want to use my resources yet to make these coins, but you only mm. get to trigger them once around, mm -hmm. typically. I yep. think there's some things that yeah, some are something like, that allows you like to do it again or something. Or three times or... Um, but uh, it's interesting how you don't want to necessarily let any of them go to waste yeah. if you can get yeah. a lot of points, even though you might want to save like some of those resources in order to take advantage of those production cards that maybe let you trade. Mm. You, know, yep. You, yep. you don't know what they're going to be um, at that point, um, but you... You kind of, I think once you, once I probably played it more, you kind of know what cards are out there po possibly to come out. Yeah. And you might be like, oh, I kind of want to save some of that, but at the same time, I should probably trade it in for, you know, that with that for seven points because that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Well, I would never turn down seven points. Maybe that's why you lost. <laughs> I got. Wow. I lose did by I, a point. I beat him by one point. Although you got, you got like half your points yeah, in your I got final like round. So I don't know if you were holding on. Round. To put, hold on I, to resources. I was not, but I almost <laughs> always had resources left over going into the next round. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I usually only had a, a couple, it seemed yeah, like. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my rating of this game, um, this is surprise of the year. Um, I'd give this a 9. I really, really enjoyed the game. It's, I can't remember. Yeah, you keep going. Can't remember what? Keep going. Can't remember what. I, I will ask you afterwards. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just I was afraid. Mm -hmm. I was petrified. <laughs> um, I was afraid. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, it eased all my fears. It was very easy to play. I mean, if you're scared by the theme or the cover and 
Um, and the theme comes through, I think. I think mm -hmm. it's a great theme for this kind of resource like production, mm -hmm. trading things for other things, which could be very flawed, actually. It does come through with mm -hmm. this theme, and um, mm -hmm. the artwork's great throughout, and I yeah, think all the really iconography good is good, and it was just so much easier to play than I thought, and I really love that bidding mechanism. I think mm -hmm. that, that makes the game, and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love its wonderful world. This gives me a feel, but with a little different flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you, I couldn't remember on your top 50 last year, was it's a wonderful world on there? I think so, yeah. Do you know, was it like middle of I think I think it was 30s? middle. I think I had cooled on it a little bit mm -hmm. um, at the time, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's Furnace. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I think the bidding, I'm trying to think, do I like Five Tribes bidding better? I think those... I'm trying to think what other games we have that use bidding. I'm this is right. definitely, definitely one of, <laughs> definitely one of the top ones for yes. me. It's very, yeah. very solid. It works really well. Um, it's not, it's not that, yeah, it's not that scary of bidding. And I feel like you always, maybe not always, but most of the time you get what you yeah. are hoping to get from the bids. Yeah. Typically, not not always, but I know I think that can be probably scary about bidding sometimes, is you don't end up getting what you want. Yeah. And I, I felt like in this one, most of the time, you did. At least once yeah. Yeah. Once we kind of had the feel of how yeah. it all kind of worked. Yeah. Um, There's so. usually a couple cards that you want, and you should be able to get at least one really good card that you mm -hmm. want. Yeah. We'll definitely have to try it with more players and yeah. see kind of if that changes it, how that changes it. But um, I look forward to playing this one quite a bit. Because, yeah. yeah, it was also a surprising one to me. I figured I'd like it, but I definitely, definitely liked it a lot. So... Yeah. Look forward to playing it. Um, but yeah, if you've made it this far, um, you like the video, give us a thumbs up. We always appreciate that. Mr. Furnace would appreciate <laughs> it. Mr. Furnace would love for those thumbs up. <laughs> Maybe that's a character we can bring onto the show. <laughs> right. Um, otherwise, you can leave a comment below as to if you would have named this game Furnace or Mr. Furnace. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and also, if you want to see other first impressions, uh, definitely give us a subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell, so you can see when we upload future ones. Um, yeah. But other otherwise, we hope to see you on the next video. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.